I'm Pastor E. John Citizen with my lovely wife, Nikita Citizen. We are your host tonight. Listen, we're going to have a great program all about addiction, about recovery, help in recovery, help in addiction. Honey, John 8, 36 says, whom the sun sets free is free, free indeed. indeed. And tonight you can be set free. Tonight God can do something special in your life. I want you to gather around the television. Matter of fact, get on the phone. Call a family member who may be dealing with addiction. Call a friend who may be dealing with addiction. Or you yourself may be dealing with addiction. Tonight we have the opportunity to be set free, to be delivered, to allow God to come into our lives and change us from the inside. And it will show up on the outside. Amen. Tell me, what's your expectation? I'm so excited because I'm very passionate about this program tonight. Yes, you are. Um, this is something very dear to my heart because um, God is into setting, he's into the setting the free business. That's why Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins. And people is being set free all across this world. And I'm so excited about our guests tonight and they're gonna show us how to be set free. You know, God is gonna do something supernatural if you Amen. allow him into your heart. The Bible says that if I confess my sins and believe in my heart that Jesus died for my sins, then I am saved. And tonight you can be delivered, you can be set free, you can be changed because you believe that God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all you can think or ask. We have great music tonight, we have great guests, we have some folks that have traveled a long way to be here tonight and they're going to share their story. They're going to share how they've been helping others and they have been, their lives have been touched because they've been in the harvest fields. And the Bible tells us the harvest is plentiful but the labors are few. But tonight we have some laborers here tonight that wants to do a great work. Now tell me, with addiction and how addiction can destroy the family. I've seen addiction yes. destroy from a lot of different ways. Tell it me one it thing. It destroys um, not only the husbands and the wives, it destroys the kids as well. You know, um, it goes, I mean, when one person sin, it affects the whole family. You when said one person for. hurt, it affects the whole family. It affects even the church house. Amen. And I'm believing God this evening that he's going to be moving a mighty way. Now let's go to the music with Thaddeus Bruce singing, Casting My Care. Amen. You know, when the Bible tells us, cast your cares upon the Lord. Whatever you're going through tonight, whatever your cares, your concerns are, Jesus is saying, cast your cares. I'm casting my cares on I'm casting my cares. I know you hear me when I'm calling. Yes, when I'm calling out your name. Oh, Prince of Peace, Lord of Lords, a precious lamb that was slain. Jehovah Jireh, first and last, else you die in the night. You see my tears and you know my fears. Yes, everything I'm going through, that's why I'm Casting my cares on you, Jesus. I'm casting my cares on you, Lord. You see my tears and you know my fears. Yes, everything I'm going through, that's why I'm casting my cares on you, Jesus. I'm casting my cares. Money's kind of funny and my brain's on strain. My family's going to love me and my heart's in pain. My money's kind of funny and my brain's on strain. My family's going to love me and my heart's in pain. I'm casting my cares on you, Jesus. I'm casting my cares on you. Tears and you know my fears, just everything. 
everything I'm going through. That's why I'm casting my cans on your jeans. Mm -hmm. I'm casting my cans on you. to me you weary one and i will give you rest know that your troubles and that your triumphs are merely just a test that's why i'm casting my cans on your jeans mm -hmm. i'm casting my cans on Amen. Cast your cares on Jesus tonight. We have some special guests here all the way from Tampa, Florida. But now, just because I said Tampa don't mean it's located all in Tampa. They're going to talk to you about a ministry that they're doing nationwide. Bishop Jefferson. Yes, sir. Good to have you and your lovely wife, Dr. Thank Brenda you. Jefferson. <laughs> guys, you guys travel a long way, but that's not something new to you guys. You no, always no. travel. Yes. yes. God is doing a mighty work in your lives. Yes. Bishop, yes. man, just talking to you guys and, and hearing your story. Mm -hmm. uh, y'all involved in ministry work, yes. music. Yes. yes. Uh, y'all written a book. Yes. I mean, change your thoughts, change, change your, your world. world. Yes. My, my, my. So your world has been turned upside down. Yes, sir. So let's get into this tonight. Tell me what God is doing in, in, in your ministry. Words change worlds. We take people in from all over the country. I mean, everywhere. When they come there, they're addicted on drugs, alcohol, mm. prostitutes, whatever the case may be. We change their thoughts. When you change your thoughts, you can change that world. Amen. We live in That's many right. worlds. Amen. <laughs> but Amen. this is a world right here. But the main world is called Jesus Christ. We put Amen. them out of their world into Jesus Christ's world. Amen. So now you, you said something that grabbed my attention. You heard what you said, honey? Yes. We 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 meeting people and we we taking them and putting them in different places around the world where they yes. can get the yes. help they need. Yes. Amen. Now you operate into a transition home or do you you have a placement center that that gets it out there. Tell me how it works. We 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 go in the areas, and we buy houses that people have they did drugs in and prostitution. Wow. We take those houses and turn them into houses that the saints stay into. That's Amen. it. We clean the territory, <laughs> clean up the whole place. <laughs> so what the enemy meant for evil, you turn it you around got it for the right. good. <laughs> yes, man, you got it right. Don't get this woman excited over here, because <laughs> she'll preach to all of us. <laughs> but, but the ministry you're talking about is addiction. Yes. Prostitution. Yes. Uh, homelessness uh, because of many reasons. Yes. Could be uh, not just addiction, but it could be uh, mental health. Uh, people are oppressed for no reason. Amen. He came to save for oppressed of the devil. Yes. Amen. Oppressed is addiction. It is. I mean, uh, fear is addiction. People are afraid and don't know what they're even afraid of. Mm -hmm. So they, they, when they, we change their thoughts, we change that world. Taking them out of a fear in their minds and putting who Christ come into your life, that what he does, he actually sets you free. Amen. So, the, so the, what, what happened there, that fear leaves. Fear is a terrible thing. Yes, yes. that's a spirit. You, you got it's that the right. spirit of fear. Well, watch, watch him. Second Timothy 1 and 7. God has not given a spirit of fear, but of power, love, love and a sound, sound mind. mind. Amen. So if you're fearful, your mind's not sound. That's Amen. right. You got no power. The love is, 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 is not there. So when, you, when you're not fearful, all these things come to pass. you got a sound mind, and you can just talk about the Lord all the time. Hey Amen. So you and First Lady, y'all work with, with people from various walks of life. Yes. So your base of operation is in Tampa. Yes, sir. So if someone wanted to reach you while watching this program tonight, what would be the best way to reach you guys? Go ahead, honey. <laughs> well, uh, Bishop deals with the phone. 
Okay. So uh, area code 813-229-6805. Say that one more time. 813 area code 229-6805. Now, listen out here. If you need help tonight, she just gave you a number. We're going to get it again and again and again. Yes. You can get the help before we leave this program tonight. God is doing something supernatural on this earth even now. Yes. Yeah. You brought you here tonight to Atlanta, here at Atlanta Live, to share that you are yes. here to offer help to anyone who needs help. Yes. Now, tell me, what does that help entail? Well, I preach the word. She writes the music, all kind of music. And the same words I preach then she write the music for it. And when you get music and you get the word of God together, you got to come in this, you won't Amen. believe. Amen. <laughs> Amen. We, we, we house, yeah. we, we do three yes. meals a day. Yes. So they can come in and get housing, get clothing. We give them clothes, the whole work. So we co they come in and we transform their lives and give them the tools that they need to transform their lives. Because people don't really care where they, where you come from, no. No. who preaches no. what, no. and who sings what. You're right. They really want to know how much you care about You yes. got that right, yes. yes. by clothing. Yes. Uh, Dr. Jefferson, you talked about clothing, housing. Yes. Now, how do you qualify for this? Is there any special uh, qualifications that people, because our audience is listening to us tonight, and that may be someone that's saying, I'm at the end of my rope. You know, I hear what you're saying. I want this help tonight. And uh, that number, give me that number one more time. The, the number is 813-229-6805. You call that number right now. Someone will pick up the phone. They will help you. They'll yeah. get you the help you need. And before they leave Atlanta tonight, they can place you in a, in a home or in a, in a situation where you can get the help yes. you need. Yes. Let me get you one of David's prayer. Help, Lord. So you want, you want help? Call that phone. Help, Lord. <laughs> I, need help. I need help. So there's yes. no prerequisite. You just come in, call that number, yes. and they'll get you in, in touch with an area. Yes. Of, like a, what you call an area from supervisor yes. or area yes. of resident. Uh, yes, sir. Someone, whether you be in Florida, whether you be in Atlanta, whether you be in Texas, Texas, yes, Texas. You be in California. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're right. So is there a charge when no. they call? No. No. See, that's what a lot of people are struggling with. Yeah. When they no. call, yes. they don't have the resources no. to pay. No. no. Parents, if you if you have a child on drugs, if you have a daughter or a son that's a, that's in prostitution, if you have someone that's out there that's lost, that <laughs> need help. From, yes. from, from what the devil has placed on them. We have a couple here tonight. Yes. Bishop, I don't, I'm, tell, I'm excited. Come and buy without money. <laughs> it won't cost you a dime. Yeah, you're All right. All it costs you is you yes. wanting Jesus. Yes. yes. If you ask for help, you have yes. not because you, you ask, ask not. not. Yes. I love that. Oh, my God. <laughs> don't get me to preach it. <laughs> yes. I'm just so excited. I can sense that you have such a loving spirit. Yes. How do you feel like that love? Especially when people really do not have the resources, they don't have You're right. nowhere to turn. Yes. It's but a blessing to see someone. Yes, ma'am. You, know, you have to make the need for God to get the, uh, right. uh, uh, meet the That's need. Right. See, Amen. if you don't make the need, Amen. God can't meet the need. You know, a lot of ministries say they want to help people, but you are actually doing it yes. at no cost to the consumer. You're right. And you're saying all we want to do is spread the love of Jesus. Yes, sir. I want that number one more time. 813-229-6805. <laughs> 6805. <laughs> Don't call that number you miss out on God's blessing in your life tonight. Amen. I tell you, I know our producer works hard to find guests to come in yes. and sit on this couch and share <laughs> what God is doing. And I tell you, she found a gym with y'all. <laughs> I tell you. I, 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 I tell you, we got to get that number. 813-229-6805. <laughs> that was a good setup. That was a good setup right there. So, let me ask you, um, what kind of um, transformation have you seen in your ministry? Yeah, give us oh some testimonies. Oh, we, I mean. We take people mm -hmm. that people, nobody else wants mm -hmm. the unmentionable. The least of these. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Then we teach them, train them in the word of God. If they qualify for ministry, we set them up in a church somewhere and watch over them. So mm -hmm. you have ministry wow. partners from yes, all around sir. the world? Yes, all sir. around. Amen. Yes, so sir. you guys ain't even started this. No, sir. <laughs> Give us a little history. Well, we came to Tappan in, in 79. Okay. And ever since then, we've been doing it. In Amen. other words, God said, go to Tampa, Florida. Mm -hmm. And he said, I want you to take the people nobody else wants. So, so I see a man pushing a bucket, I start crying mm -hmm. because it's something in, in your heart to know they need help. Mm -hmm. The sinners received Jesus gladly. It was the church folks who didn't want it. 
That's right. Amen. The sinners love him. So when you understand who people are, you got the love of Christ in you, you've got to help people. That's right. It constrains us to help people. Amen. You got no choice. You got to. Yes, now, now, how does this entail in music? Tell us how that, oh. that yeah. I want to hear a little bit about that. Because all what you're saying is awesome. <laughs> but, but music. Yes. Suits the soul. Yes, sir. You know, when, when Saul was was crazy, yes. David played the heart. Right. Yes, sir. And he he brought demon now. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that that, that you tell us a little bit how to encompass into your ministry. But it, it, it works because when people come in and they're uh, are bound on drugs mm -hmm. and they're you know going through withdrawal and everything, when we when they hear music or singing, yes. it's like a calming. So God gave me a word one day. He said, Bishop Jefferson preached the word. I want you to preach the word through songs. That's right. So we were going to Africa to one of our churches and I was on the plane and God just spoke. I heard this song and God said, pick up your pen and write. And I, start, I picked up the pen and I started writing. He said, you're going to be my pen of a ready writer. Right. Mm. Wow. So out of obedience. Yes, yes, sir. Out of obedience, yes, you begin to write that song. Yes, sir. And yes, God sir. birthed something he, out he of that birthed, song. Yes, sir. And yes, now sir. he is taking your talents. Yes, sir. And, and brought it into to existence. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. But it, yes, sir. it wouldn't have happened because you have not. Called you, you asked ask not. not. <laughs> and I'm telling you, folks, you asking for help tonight, yes. you got a couple sitting here saying, we want to give you all the help you yes. need, yes. free of charge. Resources are available for you. Yes, sir. And I want you to hear what, what Dr. And, 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 and Bishop is saying tonight, mm -hmm. yes, sir. because the testimonies, mm -hmm. now, yeah. now, let's, let's dig in a little personal. Mm -hmm. Have you had to reach into your own home? Family members, children. Of yes, sir. Yes, 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 sir. Yes. How, yes. Because you can't yes, go sir. out there and start helping the world until it starts at home. Yes, yes sir. So let, let, let's bring it home. home. Yes, there you go. Yes, I, I want to bring yes, that. Yes, I want yes, to bring yes, that around. Because yes, see, sir. if you love someone, the best gift you can give them is Jesus. Yes, sir. But they can't find Jesus until they learn how to deal with this addiction. Yes, sir. And only Christ can help them through that addiction. You're right, sir. Yes, sir. You can't say no to the joke without saying yes to Jesus Christ. Amen. It's got to be Christ first. Yes. Sir. Hope of all glory. Mm -hmm. So if you don't say yes to him, you can never have mm -hmm. God has has blessed us tremendously. Dr. Jefferson don't even, uh, she know nothing about no music. She started writing music, and it's all over the country now. So Amen. you so you, you didn't go to any formal training? No, I don't. Any formal school? No, sir. Amen. I don't it's know called anything about trains us yes, and he's the one yes, that's teaching us it's yes, not by man and yes. i can't take the credit yes. for it it's all amen. god yes amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. yes you know we, we got about five minutes that's and i want y'all to this i mean just share your heart uh, of how if if you know god has given you an opportunity tonight to be here at Atlanta live mm -hmm. share with the, the viewers out there something that would compel them to to want to call that number anytime you feel in your spirit that you want to hurt yourself. Mm. Uh, people around you begin to bother you. You can't hardly think straight. You need to call that number. Because first of all, the enemy knows if you commit suicide, you cannot be saved. You can only be saved if you confess your sin. Mm -hmm. If you kill yourself, you can't confess them. You already did. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people kill. I told one woman, I said, don't go out and kill yourself. She went right outside and kill herself. Mm -hmm. That happened in our ministry. Mm. So I've seen, oh, wow. we've seen all kind of things. And it, it, it bothers you. See, people can get help and people hold them back. Mm. So I'm praying, God, that somebody will call that number. And I know they will, they always do. Mm -hmm. And that's the call. enemy that's holding you. You got that right. Mm -hmm. You got yes. that right. He's out to kill, steal, and destroy. You're right. One thing You're about right. it, though, Jesus ain't sitting back with his hand full of these. You can believe that. Mm -hmm. He said, Come unto me, all you that labor. And mm. I'll give you rest. Give you rest. I'm believing God that folk gonna get some rest from this TV show tonight. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, I want you to give it from a lady's perspective. Yes, Talk sir. to the women out there who may be in prostitution, yes, who may be mm -hmm. lost their children because of drug addiction. Yes, give us something, Dr. Jefferson, that may compel these women to, to come and call this number. Yes, call 770-300-9828. You can't yes. remember nothing else. 770-300-9828. We can get you the help you need tonight. Yes, sir. Go ahead, doctor. If, if a, a woman is out there and she's, uh, we deal with women every day 
trying to get their kids back, bound by drugs and alcohol. Yeah. I'm dealing with a young lady now that has two, two beautiful twins. If you want to change your life and you want your children back, you can change your life just by calling that number. Sometimes we get bound by life troubles and tragedies in life, and we don't know how to turn our lives around. But if you want to cha change your life, you can change it tonight just by calling that number. You can change tonight. Amen. Now, now, tell us a little bit about the day-to-day -day operations of, yes, of, of your ministry. Mm -hmm. How do counselors do it? Well, so they will kind of know what they expect when they come there. What would be the, the uh, uh, operation, so to speak? You can do it. <laughs> we, we have classes, two classes a day, and it's called book, chapter, and verse. And Bishop has a list of 50 scriptures. And what uh, he comes in the class and he teaches on those scriptures. Uh, scriptures and he helps the people and then they'll come up if say for instance she was uh, uh, going through about her kids I mean he will minister or I minister to her we minister through the Word of God so these people we give them a chance to talk it out we give them a chance to learn how to change their situation through the Word of God so we have a class called book chapter and verse so that's what they do two classes a day and it really changes their lives so it blesses the people so we have I mean hundreds of people come through that ministry yes. and change their lives. Wait a minute. So if you're not in Tampa, you're in Atlanta, mm -hmm. and so you put them with a church or a, a ministry in yes. Atlanta mm -hmm. yeah. that could house them, yes. Yes. At, but mm -hmm. you would help offset the expense. Yes, sir. Because mm -hmm. it, I hear what you're saying. Yes, you're in, I, I, I'm just, just talking it through. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, you in Tampa. Yes. I call your number. I yes. call the station. Yes. I get yes. them in touch with mm -hmm. you. Yes. And they say, well, I can't get to Tampa. I'm in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. So the first step is you get them on the phone with yes. someone yes. you have a relationship with yes. in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. yes. It's not a wondering if or how you yes. know we have someone that we can yes. connect you with. Yes. Uh, we will send them with what I don't know, I experience, church. the closest church will have close to the, 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 so it may not be like, you may have to travel a little outside there. Whether it be, yes. whether it be our, 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 whatever the case may be, right. you see what I'm saying? We send them there at, at, at our expense. Mm -hmm. But it's worth it because you yes, cannot give enough money to the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. I, I That's that a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And whatever yeah. we, we give, God will give it back. Yes, well, sir. we got about a minute, so yes, let's sir. let's get that number out again. 813-229-6805. 813-229-6805. Yes, if you call that number or you can call 770-300-9828, we want to bless you. Now, we're going to go to the music with Lyle Pye. Lyle Pye. Say it again? Lyle Pye. Lyle Pye singing Miracle. Dr. Jefferson mm -hmm. wrote the song. Anybody watch? 
you want your miracle? Hey! We gotta have your miracle if you really want it. Yeah, 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 yeah. A miracle. Good God Almighty. Listen, if you will. Now believe, and you shall receive, oh Lord, he's given us power, good God Almighty, and authority to invoke hey, a miracle, hey, power to invoke a miracle. Hey, 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 hey. I don't want it, I got to have it. I need my miracle. Oh Lord, yeah. Miracle hey. I need hey. Good God Almighty. Hey, I, I feel, I feel hey. and it's coming my way, yeah. Coming my way. Your hands right where you are. If you believe it, Hey, you got to have faith. Yeah, it's comedy. Hey, I'm about to get happy right now. I feel it's coming. Hey, hey. It's coming my way. Good God Almighty, it's coming. Hey, hey, I see it in my view. My miracle is coming. If you believe it, somebody shout it. Yeah, yeah. said, Lord, I receive it. Hey, I've been waiting and waiting. I've been praying and fasting, fasting and praying. But my miracle is on the way. Ooh, yeah. Hey, miracle of healing, miracle of deliverance is mine. I don't know about you, but I'm so blessed right well, now. I okay, received my miracle by faith. You can have your miracle by calling that number, 770-300-9828. God wants to deliver you. God wants to bless you. God wants to set you free. Our prayer partners are waiting for you to call right now. Please call that number, 770-300-9828. You'll be surprised what God can do. God is a miracle worker. He is an awesome mighty God. So I want you to call that number. Get your miracle tonight. Receive your blessing. Receive your deliverance tonight. And it starts by calling that number. Again, I'm going to give it to you, 770-300-9828. Our prayer partners are waiting for you to call. There's so much we're going to do tonight, but it won't happen and it won't take place until you dial that number. God is waiting to bless you. And tonight, if you are struggling, you are going through some tough times. Depression may have you bound, 
drug addiction may have you bound. You may not know which way to turn. You may not know what to do. But the Bible tells me that if I delight myself in the Lord, he will give me the desires of my heart. So tonight, I want you to get your heart's desires. And the way I do that is by connecting with other believers. The Bible says as two is touching the green in the name of Jesus, he will be in the midst. And tonight, God is in the midst of what we're doing here in this studio. By you calling that number, 770-300-9828, you can receive your blessing. I want you to go to the phone, call that number. Now we're going to go into our prayer room, hear what God is doing, listen to some of the blessings that God has poured out on some of his people tonight, but he wants to bless you. Dial that number, 770-300-9828. Now go to the prayer room. Welcome to the prayer room. I want to thank everyone for coming here tonight, for tuning in to the Atlanta Live prayer room. I want to thank all of our prayer partners, and I want to also welcome um, Jackie Lance from the Love Center. And I am so excited about tonight. Please call in because tonight is on addictions, and we have a lot of people out there in the world that needs a lot of help. They need to be set free. And I, this um, scripture here really touched me. In Luke 10, 19, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. Please call in to the prayer room, Atlanta Live, 404-300-9828. Please call in. You will not regret it. And if any of you need salvation tonight, I would love to pray with you. Um, if you never confessed, um, if you never accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, I would love to pray with you. The prayer room would love to pray with you. Let's um, pray. Faithful, I know that I am a sinner and I ask you to forgive me. I believe Christ died for me and God has raised Jesus from the dead. I want to turn from my sins, Jesus. Come into my heart. Be my personal Lord and Savior. I promise to obey you and follow you all the days of my life. God just wants us to confess our um, sins from one to another. Please call into the prayer room, 404-300-9828. God is about, God is ready to set you free tonight. I know there's a lot of hurting people out there, a lot of struggling people out there. Um, families is being destroyed and trampled on. This is the time to call in to the prayer room. We are here to help you. We just thank God for you, and God loves you so much. He died on the cross for our sins. That's why he died on the cross for our sins, so that we could um, come to him and confess our sins. He can co we can go to him, and um, he's ready to heal our diseases, heal our hurt, heal the pain that we are suffering from. Um, he's into the crushed spirits. We are, um, now we want to go back to the studio. God bless you. Welcome back. I'm here on the set with Thaddeus Bruce. Man, you've been down a journey. Man, God has kept me. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> you know, listening to your story earlier, you've really walked down that road. Yes. So that's t tell me what God is doing now. Well, now we're in the middle of a new project, new CD project. Okay. Um, where God has been really dealing with me about reaching his people to have them to run after him a little more that they'll run after his face seek him as opposed to just his hand out but to seek his hand uh, to humble themselves you know the scriptures say if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from the way then and so that's what this project is about is about hearing the heart of god for his people and uh, that's our heart we want to reach god's people and have them to be able to just humble themselves and to seek God. Now, how can we get this new project you just put out? InsideOutMusic.com. InsideOutMusic.com. CD Baby, uh, Amazon, um, which so, it has not been released yet, but it's soon to be released. Okay, so, it's, it, so it was inspired by what? Tell me what, what inspired this project. Well, the hurting and the crying of, of God's people and the desire just to reach them you know god reached me we reach way back to get me and so now just to extend that to them to say you know what if god can save me if god can deliver me 
he can deliver you as well. He's no respect of person. You got that right. Oh, yes, yes. Now, now what, what's your journey been like? Tell me a little bit about your journey. You know, I'm an only child uh, for my mother and um, always wanting to fit in, you know. Okay. And uh, so uh, brought up in the church, father being a pastor, grandfather, uncles, and knowing all my life that God had a calling on my life, but I strayed the other way and I chose uh, the the drinking and the drugging, which led me down a real dangerous and dreadful path. 23 years of struggling with my drug addiction and 21 different treatment centers. Hold on, wait a minute. You said how many drug? 21 different treatment centers. So you really been through it? Yes. You got the t-shirt? Yes. <laughs> and one of my pastors said, you should be able to teach those things by now. Amen. And uh, But I kept falling. I kept tripping and going, getting up, falling back down. And um, I wind up, uh, my mom with her hurt and her desire to see me set free, she made a call to Teen Challenge. I think one of her friends had called her and told her about Teen Challenge. And when uh, she made that call out of desperation, that's where I wound up in Teen Challenge. And, uh, you know, I tell you, I'm grateful because Teen Challenge brought me back to that place of seeking God's face and to humbling myself and realizing by myself and in, and in my own strength, I couldn't do it. Amen. But they brought me back to the basic, to the foundation, the only foundation that can save and deliver you. You know, the Bible said who the son is set free is made free, free indeed. indeed. That's right. And so that's what Teen Challenge gave me, that foundation. And it transformed my life. And now, now, how long did you participate in Teen Challenge? Well, I, I actually, you know, it was funny because I, I actually went to the... Um, the crisis center first for five months, and then I went to what they call the farm in Bonifay, Florida for four months. And okay. I was supposed to go to the completion of the program, but I thought I had it all together. My father's a pastor, I brought up in church, and, and I know what to do. And I went back out and I wandered for a couple of more years, and finally I got so beat up and so knocked out of shape that God humbled me. And I went back to complete teen challenge where I should have been all the time. And so it was 12 more months. And, um, and, and it was funny because my director at that time, which was my counselor, those years way back, uh, he's now here in Georgia. And so, <laughs> you know, it was funny that I would wind up back in full teen circle. challenge, full circle, you know, to uh, serve and work for him here. And I'm um, here. In, in the Georgia area, uh, the New Horizon Recovery Center, I'm his choir director and outreach coordinator. And so uh, uh, I'm still at Teen Challenge. So, Amen. You never know, left. Never left. <laughs> basically, <laughs> so I'm still here. If it works, why, it, why mess with why it? Why mess with it? Over 14 Amen. years, God's delivered me. So you've been clean 14 years? 14 years. That's a blessing. It, That's a blessing. Yeah, only I by the grace you of God. Now, now have you... Your mom's still alive? She's still alive. So she got to see that yes, restoration. Absolutely. So now she can sleep at night. Absolutely. Amen. Absolutely. Amen. Absolutely. And uh, I'm just so grateful. And just to see, we talk almost every day. Um, and you know, I had alienated my, my children as well. But now I have a full relationship with all of my children. Uh, my mom is sleeping at night. The children aren't worried and, you know, stressing out because they might see their dad on the street somewhere, somebody else, and, and uh, they're ashamed. But, you know, God has delivered me. Well, you just touched on something. Your addiction, how did it hurt your family? How did it hurt your children? I mean, Destroyed them. Um, you know, the self-esteem, um, you know, n n their uh, wanting to see me clean, but in the same sense, everywhere they go, if they, you know, people shy away when they start talking, somebody starts talking about their dad and how bad their dad is, you know, and, and that just really gave them a the low self-esteem about their dad. And um, my whole family, you know, it doesn't just affect me. Exactly. It affects and, everybody. And that's what I was thinking at. I wanted to dig at that because your addiction, did, it, it wasn't a personal thing. It affected the whole family. Everybody. Everybody. So to somebody who may be a father that has children but battling an addiction, what would you say to that father tonight? Surrender. Submit. That's a big word, surrender. Yes. That's yes. a big word. But how, how do you, I guess I'm trying to get the, the application of it out of you. Right. Well, I, I when think... you say the word surrender, I mean, I understand what it means, but to somebody who, who may be ready to shoot up tonight, someone who may be ready to smoke crack tonight or do methamphetamines or, or prostitute their body, you know, how would you say 
that word surrender, what does it really entail? Well, for, for me and what I would say to them is, you know, we get to the place that we think that I'll be all right this time, where we never know when this time may be the last time. That's good. And, you know, for me, it got, had to get to that place. And one of my counselors said, don't ever say I haven't done that. Say you haven't done that yet. yet. And this time may be the last time because deep down inside, honestly, they really want to change. They don't really want that life. They say we do at that time, but the honest goodness truth, we really don't. We won't change, but we're not really ready to get that change because we're afraid of, afraid of failing again. I, I've tried this so many times. You know, look at me, you know, 21 different treatment centers, you know, ready to give up because it seems like there's no hope, you know, and, but I would say to them, you've tried that over and over and the sanity is believing that this time is going to be the last time or this time going to be different, but it may be different because this may be the last time. So why not try to do something different this time? Give God a try. And trying Jesus, when you say trying Jesus, could treatment programs, like you said, 21 times, obviously don't work every time. So beyond the treatment program, you got to have Jesus. Absolutely. So you, you get, going into the program is, is a piece of it. Yes. It's a part of it. Yes. But the, the main surrendering we're talking about is surrendering your life to Jesus Christ. How would you say, how would you explain that to somebody that, that, that don't know how to surrender their life? How would you explain it to them? The, well, the first thing I would say is this to them is how, how many things have you tried so that you wouldn't do what you're doing? And I know an answer and this, and with Teen Challenge, we've got an 85% 83% success rate of those who actually come and surrender their life to Jesus. And so what we try to tell them is this, is there's an answer. Jesus is really the only answer. And if you just be willing to try for this period of time, I believe that if you truly surrender or let him have an opportunity in your life, that he'll show you a different way. The truth of the matter is the only way of to be able to be set made free and to turn your life around. And after that, if you decide that you still want to do that, which if you get the Bible says, oh, taste and see. And if you would just oh, taste and try come on Jesus. Now. You start to preach oh, now. Oh, yeah. If I you, thought you was a singer. <laughs> <laughs> see, yeah. that preaching came yes, out sir. of here now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because that's what God has called us all to, to be witnesses. And that's my heart, is to be able to witness to these guys and let them know if he did it for me, he can do it for you, but too. But did you do it one day at a time? One day at a time. One, one, Sometimes one hour at a time. See, that's, that's the point about addiction. You know, it, it, it's so easy to fall into it. It is. But it's so hard to come out of My it. My Lord, yes. But, man, I'm telling you, one hour at a time, just praying that first 10 minutes, praying that next 10 minutes, and that, that 10 minutes turns into a half hour, mm -hmm. the half hour turns into an hour, yeah. that hour turns into an entire day. It does. That day turns into a week. Yeah. See, when people say surrender, it's not instantaneously. Yes, God can take the taste out and God can remove it instantly, but we have a free will. Yes, we do. And see, people don't understand, you have a free will. Yes. And that free will requires you to choose. Yes. Choose this day whom you, if, if serving the Lord seems undesirable to you, then choose this day whom you shall serve. But as for me. And my house. And my house. Yes, sir. My temple, yes, my house. Yes, this, sir. This, this, this yes, temple. Sir. Yes, sir. I will serve the Lord. Yes. And that's, that's, when I hear the word surrender, that's what I think about. I think about saying, okay, Lord, I can't do this in this very hour, but God, if I meet you at this place, you're going to help me take one step at a time. Yes. One moment, moment by moment, glory to glory. Yes. And we shall overcome yes. together. Yes, yes. And see, and, and it, took you a, it took you a while to get there because a journey sometimes takes a while. It takes a while. But would you trade anything for your journey? Absolutely not because it taught me and brought me to where I am and is helping me to be the man of God he's already ordained for my life to be. And to be able to be a vessel 
to go through what I went through. Now I can go back and somebody's on the other side and I can tell them from what I know, oh, I feel from that. where I've been. I felt that but when you not said just what somebody that. told me. From what the it was other side. The, oh yeah, I can, like he said, let's cross over to the other side. Uh -huh. Now I can go back to the other side and bring help bring somebody but else But you're not going there to fall. No sir, no see, sir. See, that's a difference. Different thing. So you can't go back to no, the other sir, side unless you no, prepare sir. No, sir. to that's go it. there and come Absolutely. back. Absolutely. And that's the process and the part of the journey that you said. Amen, because I know a lot of people tell me, well, I'm going to go win the Lord, but what, you're not even strong enough yet to go there. No, that's right. Amen. It's a process. It's a process. It's a process. And, and it's, but you have people holding you accountable. Absolutely. You said you had your pastor. Absolutely. Your pastor is, is not only your, your shepherd, he's your friend. I can yeah. see the way you talk about yes, him. Yes, sir. You have a friendship. Yes, sir. You have a kindred spirit. Yes, sir. So he's holding you accountable. Yes, sir. But, but are you holding others accountable? Absolutely. And that's a part of what God has given us to do, the charge that he's given us. See, you know, he doesn't just give us the gifts and the talents. He doesn't just deliver us just so we can sit back and say, look at me. That's not what it's for. All right. It's like planting the seed. You expect it to grow. grow. You know, we, you're expecting to reap a harvest, and the harvest is coming out of what he's implanted into us to be able to sow to somebody else. That's why he brought us out, that we can be living testimony. The Bible said we overcome by the blood of the Lamb, the words of our testimony. testimony. Come on now. And so that's what he He's done allowed us to say, listen, I remember when I was there, and this is what God did to help me get back. And but, he won't just help meet you where you are. But, and but you're saying that. it with passion. Oh, yes. See, see, that's the thing about, see, don't tell me about something that you had to experience. That's right. See, because you've been there. Yes, sir. That is, you've been there. Yes, sir. So you have a passion. Yes. Well, I, I heard what you said when I go on the other side. Yes, yes. I can go on the other side. Absolutely. The reason why I keep saying the other side, because there's a lot of folk that make it. That's right. Across. That's right. That's and right. they died on the other side. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm sure you've lost a lot of good friends along Absolutely. the way. Absolutely. Are they locked up in jail? Are they in a mental institution? But by the grace of God that... I'm here, yes. you know, and my responsibility, my desire, my delight is to be a vessel that God can use for others to be saved, delivered, and set free. That's my heart. Now, we got about two minutes. If someone wanted to, to contact Thaddeus Bruce and, and hear your story or book you or have you come and speak at a men's conference or at a church service, how could they reach you? 678-368-5444. Twenty nine zero three. One more time. Six seven eight three six eight twenty nine zero three. Or they can go to insideoutmusic.com. Insideoutmusic.com. And music is spelled M U Z I K. Inside out M U Z I K dot com. Man, I tell you, it's been a pleasure talking to you. I've witnessed your music, and I know you got more to come. But brother, I tell you, you've shown that there is hope. You can make it from the other side. Yes, sir. You've proven that 21 times you may have to go through it, but that next time. May be the time. May be the time, but yes, you got to take that step of gotta faith. You got to take that step of faith. And when you finally took that step of faith, look what God has done. Yes, sir. And I can see the glory of the Lord in your life. I can see you passionate about helping win souls. And, brother, I'm just glad to know that there's a man of God that's fought the fight of faith. Yes, sir. Man, God bless you, brother. Yes, sir. Now, I know you're going to go back and sing some more for us, and you're going to get out there and share your testimony yes, sir. through song. And I'm telling you, this, it's beautiful to see what God is doing. Yes, sir. Now, I tell you this. The more you bring back from the other side, the greater crown of glory you will have. My Lord. My and that's, Lord. that's what we all want. That's what we want. And we always look at you one day and say, Thaddeus Bruce. Well done. Yes, sir. Good Thy and faithful good sir. and faithful servant. Yes, sir. Yes, Brother, sir. I'm so glad to be on this couch with you tonight. Yes, sir. Because, man, we could have died. Yes, sir. But That's we right. made it. We made now, it. Let's go to music. We're going to sing some more, and we're going to let God be a blessing through your, your, your music ministry. Absolutely. God bless Absolutely. you. Absolutely. the 
Tonight, you can get your name changed. Yes. But more important, you can get your name written in the last book of life. Amen. What are you thinking about tonight, huh? I am so excited, and I'm so excited about the passion that they all have, that they have been transformed. Amen. The... You know, it takes a lot of effort yes. for the enemy to, to grab you and hold you hostage, mm -hmm. but it takes very little effort when you call on the name of Jesus. Yes. You know, it's so easy to call on the name of Jesus and say, Lord, set me free. Yes. And I, as, as Bishop said earlier, Jesus, <laughs> I need your help. And yes. tonight, if you need help, you got that number you can call, 770-300-9828. We'll put you in touch uh, with Bishop Jefferson and his lovely wife, Dr. Jefferson. And I tell you, uh, we have more to come on the second half hour. But tonight, if you need help, we have help available for you. Mm -hmm. Listen. This station has worked tirelessly to find the right people to be here tonight to help you get the help you need. And our producers has worked hard to get you the help. So you call that number, 770-300-9828, and allow God to change your life. Let God do something supernatural in your life, and you can be set free. Honey, I think about all the people in our Overcomers program at Spirit Life that, that battled drug addiction. Uh, mothers who had lost their children and now got their children back. Amen. You know, uh, fathers who were drug dealers mm -hmm. that went to prison, 
but now they have their 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 home back and they have Amen. their lives back with their children. You know, women that were strung out uh, in the streets on prostitution that's now living a godly life. Amen. And that's what all our guests is talking about tonight. They want to help you find your place back in God's kingdom. Yes. You know, the harvest field is it's plentiful, but the laborers are few. Yes. But if you get set free, you get transformed, then you can become part of the, the harvest. And you can help us bring in those who are lost because, Amen. you know, as Brother Thaddeus said, I've been there. I was on the other side. But somehow, through the grace of God, I made it across. Yes. And also, God is not wanting us to save, hold our Holy Ghost that's inside of us. He wants us to be, go ye into all the world and preach the good news. We've been bound before, but we are to go out there into all the world and preach the good news. Um, I'm excited about our guests tonight because they're, they've been out there in the world, but since they are um, children of light now, they are ready to share Jesus Christ as their personal Savior and win the loss and for them to be set free. And that's what I'm enjoying tonight. You know, I got I got excited when I was talking to uh, Dr. Jefferson and she was saying, I never went to, to any formal school to be Amen. trained, uh, any uh, how to write music, how to arrange music, how to uh, put it together to, to put a, a CD together. Yes. But but it was the Holy Ghost. That's right. And, and, it was God, God Almighty. You know, Amen. Nothing is impossible with God. Amen. And honey, I, I mean, looking at us. Amen. I mean, we are a product of the grace of God. Amen. And tonight, you sitting out there viewing this program, all yes. you need to do is call that number, 770-300-9828, and you can connect with God's family. You can connect with God's people yes. and become part of the kingdom. But I want you to take the time to surrender. Amen. How do I surrender, Pastor John? I simply call on the name of Jesus, and when I say, Jesus, I need you, God will give you the option to dial that number, 770-300-9828, and you can be delivered. Amen. So, so tonight, if you are on drugs, you got help. Amen. Tonight, if you're homeless and you need help, you got help. Mm -hmm. Tonight, if you've been battling with oppression and depression, you got help. Yes. So all the bases are covered if you want to be set free. And this is what Atlanta Live is all about, bringing yes. quality programming into your homes so you can get the help you need. And tonight we have put together such a wonderful program so there's no excuse. You have to take the step, Amen. the step of faith. Amen. Amen. And God said, if you take one, I'll take one with you. You That's take right. two, I'll take two with you. But the, the free Amen. will we talked about earlier, you have a free will. Yes. And that free will requires you to choose. Choose this day whom you shall serve. And tonight, if you want to be set free, you can be yes. set free by calling that number, 770-300-9828. Our prayer partners want to touch and agree with you. Our prayer partners want to pray through with you. Our prayer partners want to love on you. I want to love you. I want to talk to you. So please, don't hesitate. Take the time. Call that number now. We love you. We're praying for you. We want God to do something supernatural in your life. God bless you.
Welcome back to Atlanta Live. Wow, we've been having such a powerful Holy Ghost filled time tonight. Honey, I'm enjoying this. Me too. People being set free, <laughs> lives being changed. Man. And you can also share in this wonderful joy of the Lord by dialing that number as you see on your screen, 770-300-9828. Honey, tell, tell me what you feel about tonight. G give me an example of what you feel. I see um, God using this group here tonight, um, going ye into all the world and preaching the good news. And they're not just holding in their Holy Spirit, they're sharing it with the world. Amen. That's what I see. I just, I just sense something special happening yes. tonight. Listen, I know God is, is a good God. He's a great God. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, hey, we, we love doing what we do. Amen. But what's best is we love doing it with you. Yes. So tonight, if you just call that number, sharing what God is doing, we have the help here tonight in this studio wanting to be a blessing to you, but it takes you reaching, grabbing that phone, dialing that number, mm -hmm. partnering with the ministries here tonight and, and letting God do something in your life. But it takes you making that effort. And honey, I, I tell you what I'm looking forward to is our next guest who have an actual home where they're taking people in and they're loving on them, they're sharing the gospel with them, and they're Amen. helping them get their life back on track. Amen. And the good news is all you have to do is call 770-300-9828, and God will do something supernatural in your life. Now, the good thing is I want to know your testimony. You might have been out there, and you might have been set free, and God might have done something in your life, and you say, you know what? I want to be a partner in this. I want to help be a sponsor. I want to help uh, by sharing my testimony and, and, and being a, a, mm -hmm. a person that will hold others accountable. Amen. And, and by you calling that number saying, hey, take my number down. Here's where I'm at. We want to partner with Atlanta Live. We want to partner with these ministries that's on the couch sharing their, their story. So you got time. 770-300-9828 and God will bring you into the family here at Atlanta Live and what we do here at the station we want to be a blessing yes. to others and the best way to do it by bringing others in and partnering with this station and partnering with what we do here you can be a part of that mm -hmm. call that number 770-300-9828 now we're going to go back to music with Thaddeus Bruce with a special guest Brandon Weston singing Everlasting Love
Everybody gave up on me. I was lost, confused, and so strung out. But your love, Lord, has made me free. Lord, you saved and forgave me. Freed me from my prison cell. Now you're dwelling inside of my heart and soul. And it's so good I've got to tell. Love things in It's a garbage from above, unchanging. It's an everlasting love. Your love, Lord, your love, Lord. It's a garbage from above, unchanging. It's an everlasting love. Your love, Lord, your love, Lord. Your love is everlasting. One that washed away my sin. And now I'm born again. It's a garbage straight from above, unchanging. It's an everlasting love. Welcome back. Everlasting is what God is. He's everlasting. Yes. And I tell you, we are sitting here with Pastor Tim and Barbara Newbon, and who you just heard, they are products of that ministry. Ain't that beautiful? Amen. That's beautiful. So, so to have your ministry actually in operation. Yes. So welcome to Atlanta Live. Bless Pastor you, Pastor. Newborn. Thank you, sir. First lady, it's good to have y'all with us tonight here at Atlanta Live. Now, tell us about what y'all doing because we can see the product is awesome. So y'all putting out good ministry. So tell me what God is doing in, in your ministry. New Horizon Recovery Center. We are a ministry of Teen Challenge. And uh, we're in the process of transforming uh, a facility on the east side of Atlanta, uh, thir uh, 16 acres. Mm -hmm. uh, the facility is 38,000 square feet. We're uh, putting together a 100-bed facility Amen. for young men who struggle with addiction. Amen. So now it's New Horizon Rehabilitation Center. Recovery Center. Recovery Center. Yes. That's, that's the name of the ministry. Yes. So if someone watching tonight and you in the Atlanta area and you're looking for a place for yourself or your mm -hmm. child, uh, an adult, uh, adults? Adult uh, men. Adult men. Mm. Ages 17 and a half and above. 17 and a okay. half and above. Okay, yes. so that's that's your target group yes. for New Horizon Rehab Center. Yes. All right, now, how does that really function in application? When someone calls, where would they call? What's the number? 678-526-8640. One more time. 678-526-8640. 8640. You heard that number? Call it right now. Someone is available to pick up that phone and take your call and get you the help you need tonight before they leave the couch. You can get the help you need. Now, now Pastor Newborn, tell me what, 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 what does it look like? If I call the number, tell me the next step. If it's the, uh, the person who is actually who needing the help, uh, if, if they call, uh, they'll be uh, talking with our intake coordinator who will begin to uh, find out more personal about their struggle, okay. uh, what is the struggle, uh, whether they need to uh, go to a, a uh, detox facility prior to coming to us okay. uh, because uh, uh, the opioids and the heroin addiction is really running rampant yes. throughout our country, yeah. throughout our city. Especially here in Atlanta. Yes, and, and I, mm -hmm. yes, you're absolutely right. And, and uh, any time a person is intravenously uh, uh, using heroin or opiates, uh, oftentimes they really are not ready to walk into a facility. Right. They need to have detox. Them, detox themselves. So we'll connect. So if that's the case, we will connect them with our, some, some, of our, some of our partners. Mm -hmm. Well, they will go through a, a three or, or maybe a seven day detox, whatever they may need. Right. Then they will come from there to us, to New, Horizon. New Horizon Recovery Center. So when they get to New Horizon Recovery Center, now, so where are we at now? We're going to, first of all, we are a Christ-centered program. Amen. Okay? That's right. Uh, uh, we take biblical principles to help the individual to learn how to practically apply mm -hmm. the Word of God to their daily lives wow. mm -hmm. in every area of their life, whether mm -hmm. it's a vocation, 
uh, whether it's uh, full-time ministry, uh, whether Amen. it's going back to school, for whatever, to, to continue the education. How do, how do I apply the Word of God in my daily life to accomplish those goals? So you help them to, to do life all over again, Absolutely. but now you've added that, that proper ingredient, mm -hmm. which is God's yes. Word. Yes, absolutely. Right. Now, 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 First Lady, tell me how you play into this role. How do you help the women? How does that function in, in your role? We, we have the residential piece where the guys come in and actually live for a minimum of nine to 15 months, depending on their needs. But then also with the women, particularly with the husbands, the mothers, you know, you, you have to encourage them because we, you know, as women, we want to nurture, we want to try to prop them up and what have you. And we all, I always tell them, you know, one time we help them, that's mercy. The second time, now you enabling them. <laughs> so, so therefore, yeah. you, you, know, you hit on something. That's right. we, yeah, we that's have right. to, yeah, we have to help, especially moms, too, mm -hmm. because they're so emotionally attached. And unfortunately, a lot of parents feel it is their fault because their son or, or their loved one has has an addiction problem. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to help them to understand mm -hmm. it is not their problem, That's it right. is the person's problem. Mm -hmm. and right. We have to help them take responsibility That's for right. the choice that they have made. Exactly. And now let's mm -hmm. deal with those consequences with the love of God, but with discipline That's and right. helping the family members to understand how to help and know that you're helping and not enabling. That's it. And, and because it. Um, that's the danger right mm -hmm. there yes. where yeah. a lot yeah. of parents, they yeah. think that if they give money or to help them mm -hmm. out, because I never forget um, a lot of people that has came through our program, mm -hmm. I noticed talking to the parents, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, they blame themselves. Yeah. But yeah. then when they get strong and some muscles behind that spirit man mm -hmm. and say, you yeah. know what, I'm well, giving you to God. Yeah. And see, you know, you have to help them to understand that. And see, we provide classes for them as well so mm -hmm. that they can come That's in it. and know when they're helping and when they're enabling and, and do group counseling with families. Yes. That is beautiful. Mm -hmm. So, that the classes, mm -hmm. what if what if I have someone who's not ready to come into the facility, mm -hmm. but I want to get the classes and get the help so I can help guide them to the facility so where they can get the help. Do you offer that? We, we call that the outpatient where they come maybe right. once a week or it might be we set up a schedule for it might be once or twice a week mm -hmm. that they come in in the evenings and take them through a series of classes to help to show them mm -hmm. how to help that loved mm -hmm. one. Now, now all, of, all our viewers, y'all hear what we're saying. You know, the new bonds are here to help you and your family. The only way you can get that help now, if they're not ready, you can come and get the help you need mm -hmm. so you can help them get ready to yeah. get the help they need. Mm -hmm. Or you can come with them, and together y'all get the help you from not enabling them mm -hmm. and them getting the help they need to get off the drugs or whatever yeah. the, right. the circumstances right. may because be. Because oft, exactly. oftentimes, um, uh, someone who is struggling with addiction, it is a major emotional and financial burden. Mm on family members. Yes, it is. Uh, I can't tell you the thousands of dollars that mm. family members have spent yes. trying to prop up their loved one when they really don't understand they're helping them stay there. Mm -hmm. 83% of those uh, individuals who have an addiction problem mm -hmm. uh, have someone helping them stay there. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and to be honest about it, uh, I'm not talking about something that I heard or I read in a book. I actually live that. Yes. Um, uh, my wife uh, knows what she was a, was a caretaker. As long as she was paying the bills, as long as she was buying the food, why did I have to change? That's right. All I had to do is try to, you know, tell I was going to change. Uh, I, 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 I'll, I'll do better. But as long as she was doing all of those things, there was no urgency. That's right. To to change. So she thought she was helping, but mm -hmm. she was hindering. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until she walked away and said enough was enough. And then I went through a series of, of, of ups and downs mm -hmm. and ended up in a Teen Challenge program. Praise so God. you partner with the Teen Challenge organization. Mm -hmm. So your facility is, is for men. That's right? correct. But you have resources and partnerships through Teen Challenge mm -hmm. right. that allows you to help young... Young girls, young okay. boys, mm -hmm. uh, adult women, and even we have uh, uh, husband and wife facilities 
where well, you have also a we, we can yes. connect them to we can connect to them the to those facilities. So not just limited to the Atlanta market. Right. Y'all actually correct. are national. Yeah. That's correct. There's, there's yes. over 200 and. 80, 260 200, centers? 250 centers throughout the country. Throughout the country then, that you can connect them with. That is correct. And no matter have, where they're at. Yeah, and we in, have in, in other United countries States. as well. well in other countries, wow. It's 60 yeah. different nations around the world wow. that has this ministry. Well, let me ask you this. Um, how, what if um, we didn't have the resources? Someone came in and they didn't have the resources. How can you help? Well, be honest about it. Uh, uh, those funds have to come from somewhere. Okay. Right. Okay. Exactly. Um, so we will find out what that family can do, but then we do other fundraisers throughout the year, mm -hmm. fundraising banquets. We okay. also have what we call sponsor a student. Yes. yes. Okay. So we'll uh, we believe it or not that that uh, uh, we we touch bases with family members, church members, mm -hmm. and as long as they know this person really is in a safe place and they're working on their recovery mm -hmm. program in an honest way, you wouldn't believe mm -hmm. how the resources will get uncle behind. Ed, yes, uncle will get behind IT. because right. we provide. Uh, not only do we are a Christ Center program, mm -hmm. but we have professional counselors, right. uh, licensed LPCs that. That, uh, that actually uh, uh, really helped the individual get to the root cause of their problem. There's a reason why. I like what you just said, the root cause. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Because there has to be a, a reasoning behind Absolutely. your madness. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And Absolutely. it could have been from something happened way back yes. through uh, whatever. If you heard uh, Thaddeus, right. if yeah. you heard Thaddeus earlier mm -hmm. when you were talking to him, he said he had a peer pressure problem. Yes. Mm -hmm. He felt that he was isolated and didn't fit in. So he, he went searching he and wanted to be a part of the in crowd. One thing leads to another. No one wakes up one morning and says, I want to become addicted to heroin. That's mm -hmm. right. Okay? Mm -hmm. No one wakes up in the morning and says, you know, I'm going to go to prison for 10 years. It happens. Life controlling issues happens without the person realizing mm -hmm. what's going on. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. of influences. Absolutely. And poor choices. Absolutely. Yes. Mm -hmm. Poor choice. You know, you got to make your mind up. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, Absolutely. If you make your mind up, you have to surrender. Absolutely. Right. But it, it, making your mind up requires to make a choice. Absolutely. Right. You have to choose. Absolutely. Exactly. And tonight, if you make the choice, mm -hmm. we have mm -hmm. trained professionals here that mm -hmm. want to help you. We have people that's been that. So when I hear you tell your story, you're not just talking about something you read in the book. No. You're talking about something you've lived. Amen. I remember mm -hmm. 1988, I was on a four-day binge I wow. was strung out on crack cocaine, okay? Wow. Sleeping on, on a park bench. And I remember walking mm -hmm. down uh, uh, Dixie Highway in Winter, uh, West Palm Beach, Florida. And I said, Lord, this is not the way that you've intended for me to live. Tonight, I surrender my wow. life to you. Now, when I said that, the Lord responded back and said, well, how can you do that when you've disobeyed the law that I got over you? So mm -hmm. surrender is a process. It's not something I say with my mouth. That's right. That is an it's action. A heart. Mm -hmm. That's right. I walked nine miles yes. to P Palm Beach County Sheriff's Department. Wow. And I walked in there, and there was two officers standing there, and they said, how can I help you, sir? I said, I'm here to turn myself in. They said, you're here to what? I said, yes, I'm here to turn myself in. Yes. They said, we don't understand what you're saying because we have to go find people. Uh, go upstairs and talk to the lieutenant. And I went upstairs and I told that lieutenant what I had done. He verified my story and he looked at me and he said, wow, it takes great <laughs> courage yes. to come in here and say what you're saying. Mm -hmm. You don't need to be behind bars. You need to be in a place That's right. where you can get some help. And Amen. God showed grace and mercy. Nuh uh, he said, however, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta lock you up. Oh. I spent 101 days wow. in jail. And I should have went to prison, but there was a, a husband and wife mm -hmm. that came to visit me and they shared their testimony yes. how God restored their marriage and their lives through the ministry of Teen Challenge. Mm -hmm. They both were strung out on heroin. Wow. And God restored their marriage and, and they were currently they were in full time ministry. Wow. And I never forgot when I saw them and they, what they told me. I wanted to experience yes. what what I saw in them. So that given you some hope. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And how did you how did that feel? Um, how did you feel? Did you feel like lonely? You felt betrayed? I, I really did. I felt like um, I couldn't understand how he was so 
entrenched in, in doing this thing. You know, it's like, mm -hmm. I felt all alone. We, we mm -hmm. had left our hometown and was living in Palm Beach at the time and sounded by myself and he started everything he was doing. And really I thought I was taking him away from his old friends in Florida, in Tallahassee, Florida, and moving them down to Palm Beach so we get a fresh start and he found a worse set of friends than those. Because and the enemy is yes, waiting for you yes, until yeah, you have yeah, that heart yeah, change. Yeah, yeah. The well, enemy well, will send them your way. Addiction is very powerful. Uh -huh. well, we, yes. got about a, we got about a minute left. Mm -hmm. I want people to reach you. So tell me again, where is your facility? The name of it? Where is it at? New Facebook? Horizon Recovery Center. We New are Horizon a Recovery Center. We are a Center. Ministry of Teen Challenge. Our mm -hmm. phone number is 678 526 86 Four zero. Our web address is www.tcgai.com. Mm -hmm. Say that one more time. www.tcgai.com. If there's someone who needs help, wanting to enroll in our program, in, in the upper right hand of that home page, it says apply online. Uh -huh. All they got to do is fill out that application. Within 24 hours, they get a call from our intake office. It could be a family member who wants to enroll a, 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 a loved one, and we'll reach out to them within 24 hours. If you want to get help, call that number, 770-300-9828. Now we're going to go back to the music, Thaddeus and Brandon, singing Grace, Love, and Mercy. Unyielding love that's never, never left me, and mercy brought me through. Yes, mercy made me new. It's Jesus, tried and true, who gave His all for me and you. It was grace, love, and mercy. Amazing, Amazing grace, love, and mercy. Amazing. It was His grace that's kept me. Unyielding love that's never, never left me, and mercy brought me through. Yet mercy made me new. It's Jesus tried and true who gave His all for me and you. It was grace, love, and mercy. Amazing grace, love, and mercy. was so lost, but now I've been found. I was blind, so blind, but now I see. It was grace, love, and mercy. Amazing grace, love, and mercy. Grace and mercy kept me, his love never left me. Blinded in my eyesight, living but it wasn't right. Though my faith was shaken, I've never been forsaken. My father's heart was breaking. Such a wretched sinner, wandering in the wilderness. And every time I turn around, I'm caught up in some silly mess. Strung out, knocked down, yet he never left me. Always has he kept me, held me and set me free. You know my daddy set me free. His grace has kept me, His love has never left me, and His mercy has brought me through. It was His grace that's kept me, His unyielding love that never, never left me, and mercy brought me through. Yes, mercy made me new, His Jesus tried and true, who gave His all for me and you. It was grace, love, and mercy. I just got to tell you one more time about the grace, the love, the mercy of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grace and mercy kept me, his love never left me. Blinded in my eyesight, living, but it wasn't right. Though my faith was shaken, I've never been forsaken. My father's heart was breaking. Such a wretched sinner, wandering in the wilderness. And every time I turn around, I'm caught up in some silly mess. Strong out, not down, yet he never left me. Always says he kept me, held me, and set me free. His grace has kept me, you know my daddy his love has never free. left me, and his mercy has brought Revelation 22, 21. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
Christ be with you all. Amen. It was his grace. Amen. Tonight you can experience his grace, his love, and his mercy. All you need to do is call that number. It's not too late. You can get the help you need. Tonight, God has provided every resource necessary to set you free. Honey, I've been enjoying sitting here talking to the new bonds. Amen. You guys have really inspired us yes. because you have taken something from nothing. I mean, you, you said it. It was a, a vision God gave y'all based on what y'all been through. But look what God has done. That's right. Y'all been together 35 years. Yeah. And through it all, you've made it. Amen. To yes. sit here tonight on Atlanta yeah. Live and share with the world, yes. you can help, you can get the help you need. Yes. And, so, what, and what the enemy has meant for evil, God turned it around for yes. the good. Amen. There, That's there is hope. There There's is, always hope there in Jesus. Hope. Yes. Mm -hmm. And tonight hope. is not too late. Before you let this program in, you call that number, 770-300-9828. Our prayer partners are waiting for your call. God is waiting for you to call home. God wants to deliver you. God wants to set you free. God wants to make you brand new. And I'm telling you, all you need to do is call that number. God loves you. We got to pray. Bitch, go ahead and pray for us. Amen. <clears throat> I just want to say, anyone that's out there struggling, all they got to do is call that that number. If, if, they have, if they have a loved one, call the number 678 526 8640. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Father, Hallelujah. in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray for that the son or that daughter or that dad or that mom that's struggling with addiction tonight. Father, we come against the spirit of the enemy in the, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we ask you to set the captives free tonight. Yes. Father, those who have heard the broadcast and got the information, Father, give them the courage to call that number and let them know, Father, that it's, it's not over. Because they were listening tonight, because they heard the message tonight, the message of hope, give them the courage now to reach out that they too can experience life transformation. Father, we ask these things in your holy son Jesus' name we pray. Amen.